just go my way, I'll be pulling off the first man-made snow day. I started out as a prank, but then got way out of hand. See, now the whole town's shouting, hey, what's with Andy? I'm the best, I'm the greatest, joke everybody has. What's with Andy? What, what's with Andy? I'm a trick-playing gangster, and I'm a star. What's with Andy? What, what's with Andy? <laughs> You know, it's amazing how quickly a simple thing like going to the carnival can turn complicated. Will you excuse me? Ah! <sighs> <sighs> Quit staring at me, loser. Killer bees in the car! Killer bees! We're all gonna die! <gasps> Killer bees! Whoa! Gotcha! And good riddance! It's back! The bee's back! Stop, drop, and roll! I must say, that is one fine specimen of a bee. You can say that again, right, Jen? Jen? It's almost too easy. Micro amoeba that is too small to see, like what's inside my sister's brain cavity. Ow! Huh? What? Huh? You're such an annoying twerp. Jen is annoyed. She's a nut nut annoyed. I say j j j j Jen is a no annoyed annoyed. A nut nut annoyed. A nut 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 annoyed. Be quiet. Bub bub bub. Be quiet. Okay, that's enough. How come you want to sist sist stifle my creativity? Once more, and I am stopping the car. Stop the car! I say, would you, would you, would you, car? The killer bee is free and they're in a frenzy. Now the whole family's mad and they're looking at me. I'm serious, Mom. Let's just leave them here. People will understand. Look, son, if you can't be civilized, then there will be no carnival for you. But, Dad. Take a breather. And when you're ready to behave, come back to the car. Yes, sir. Okay, Dad, step on it. Jan! I will be good for the sake of the carnival. I will be good... Oh. This is going to be very good. Listen, Jen, I'm sorry about before. Yeah, right. No, really. Here, I want to give this to you to make up for it. I know how this looks, but I haven't missed a carnival yet, and I'm not about to start now. Okay, time to plan. How the heck can we get to the carnival? Aha! One extra large with extra anchovies and pineapple. Perfect. They hate anchovies. But Mush, there's been a change in the delivery location. It's not to my parents' house, it's now to their car. As long as they pay, I'll deliver it anywhere. Oh, they'll pay all right. Let's roll. Hmm. It's not a problem. What the car needs is a push. Oh, no prob. But who's gonna... Here's an idea. We'll push it. Woo! Let's roll! back for you, honey. 
but you understand there's pizza that needs delivering. Now what? It'll probably take us hours to walk there. Relax. The insulating box will keep the pizza hot for nine days. Anyway, I have a friend who works over the hill. He'll hook us up with transport. Excellent! I can't wait to ride on an 18-wheeler. Yup, I think I have what you need. Whoa! Oh, yeah! Oh, awesome. No, not that. That! Well, what do you expect for three dollars in a melted chocolate bar? End of the ride. We're out of gas. Yeah, but look! <laughs> what a lucky break. <laughs> Mush! Yo. Mush! What? <sighs> Mush! Stop! Come back here! I got a treat for you! <sighs> there they are. Come on. Get away from my dogs! Your dogs? Yeah, our dogs! Where'd you get them dogs? We, uh, found them in somebody's yard. You boys are a long way from home. And your mommies. Andymon, do you think you have the power to- Yeah, yeah, I sense my inner strength and all. Let's kick some Bikermon butt! <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> They're, uh, very nice dogs. So you're bringing these dogs to us? Cause these cute little doggies ran away yesterday. Yes, they did. Fifi, Puddles, Cream Puff. We were worried sick. So, as it turns out, because we found their dogs, the two stuntmen could go to their show at. You guessed it, the carnival. They just asked if I could do them a favor and help them with their act. Whatever that is. Oh. So you stand in the cage ball of death while we ride around you, got it? Right. Wait, what did you say? Just get in the ball. Oh, this is crazy. I should get out of here. Danny, Mush, help! Whoa. How many tickets for that ride? Thing. Cool. How's it going? How can I help? Hey, amazing. You still got the pizza. Now I just have to deliver this sucker to my parents. Look out! Uh oh. gonna happen gee it's a shame Andy isn't here he would have loved this yeah love to ruin it like he always does 
see how complicated things get just going to the carnival? Will you excuse me? With extra anchovies. I figured you'd be hungry. Pizza? Don't worry, Mom. I'll drown myself. Man, this is the weirdest tasting snow I've ever had. Like bad potatoes or, you know, stale rice. Pranks come in all shapes, sizes, and temperatures. This one was an awesome idea, a total no-brainer, and it all started with the best of intentions, too. Well, mostly. <laughs> it was the end of the school day, just like any other, except that today was the Thursday before exams. Thank you. Now, please sign our petition to make Thursday the last day of the week. Think about it. Three-day weekends. You people have no vision. I'm doing this for you. Don't you realize we've got national aptitude placement exams tomorrow? No one's listening. Let it go, man. <gasps> Larkin and Pickett, I hope you're ready for the exams tomorrow. Principal DeRosa, only unprepared students are scared of exams. You're scared of exams, too? I've been wearing a diaper all week. There has got to be a way to get Friday off. Only two things make a three-day weekend. Number one, legal holidays. <laughs> I love my tofu turkey. Oh, oh, oh. That tastes good. Oh, and number two, oh, oh. snow. <gasps> Brainstorm! Uh. Attention shoppers. What's up? Hey, Mush. Just gathering some supplies together. Contents quadruple in water. And instant flaky rice and potatoes. Man, what a world we live in. Potatoes and cereal. What's the occasion? We're gonna make a winter wonderland out of DeRosa's house. Sounds like a plan. I figured I'd sprinkle this all around his house, then turn the hose on. You know what would be really cool? A blizzard. Oh, a blizzard! Yeah! One coupon per customer. Yeah, I think I brought enough for everyone. Fair enough. Uh, we owe you 47 cents. Score! I can't believe they just let these ice rink shavings melt. Right. You'd think people would be lining up for bags of this stuff. So what are you boys carrying in those bags? Ice, sir. Yeah, that looks cold. Ice is cold. <clears throat> Melting ice, sir. Melting, eh? Sounds like ice, all right. Yeah, ice melts. Carry on. Am I ever glad Dad got the meat house fridge option on our air conditioner? Yeah. a science experiment to see what life in the Arctic would be like. Well, that does sound educational. You're going to believe him? Just clean up when you're done. That's it? You're not gonna turn on the heat? Why can't I just have a normal family? <clears throat> uh, Danny, you better rev up the hairdryer again. <sighs> Hey, this place is pretty cool. We got all the ice we need. And instant potatoes, and cereal, and rice flakes? We need some kind of snowmaker, like the kind they use on ski slopes. Whew. I think I can hook something up. <laughs> I've been toying with this septic motor and auger. And this uh, cheese grater I got off a movie set. It's perfect. Yeah! Ooh, can we borrow those too? Uh, sure. I only use them to drive my car. Operation Wind Chill Factor? 
first is a go. Let's do it! Thanks, Mush. No problem. You all set, amigos? Good luck, I gotta go. Later. Hey, cool, this thing has a turbo button. Let it snow. Let it snow. Let, Let it, it snow. snow. <laughs> The National Weather Service has called for a freak snowstorm overnight. If you're the principal of a school, you'd probably have to cancel school tomorrow. Oh, because remember, a snowstorm is a valid reason for canceling school. Snow? What the heck is he talking about? It's 80 degrees and there's not a cloud in the sky. <laughs> Crazy weatherman. Calm before the storm. Literally. <sighs> We're never gonna make it. Of course we will. That's what the turbo button is for. Well, dawn's gonna be breaking soon. It's now or never. Excellent. Mush's thermal box has kept the ice on ice. How does it know to keep it cold instead of hot? It knows, it just knows. No time for philosophical questions, come on. Okay, let's pour it all in. Looks terrible. Fear not. Let's dump in the rest of it. Come on. Whoa. And now for the grand finale a blizzard. Every day, DeRosa gets up, pours a cup of coffee, and then lets his dog out. Right about... <laughs> Can I shovel your walk, sir? What? Shovel my walk? I can't believe it! We're snowed in! Just like the weatherman predicted. Gee, I wonder how I'm gonna get to school through all of this snow. DJ Shane McMartin here, kids. Just letting you know that Principal DeRosa has canceled school today due to a freak snowstorm. Wow, where is he calling from? <laughs> Canada? Done, done, and done. <laughs> Crude, this is not good news. The sun's melting everything. We should get out of here. It's more like a watery kind of snowstorm. That's called rain. Uh, is it ever hot out here? Potatoes? Rice? Cereal? What is this stuff? How'd it get here? <gasps> hey there! Stop! New plan, Danny. Drive like the wind! <laughs> so even with the best intentions, things can still get a little screwed up. But it wasn't a total loss. 
Larkin, I should have known it was you behind this. You think this is all one big game, don't you? Well, this is for real. You think an aptitude exam is for fun? You're in for a big shock, mister! Man, cleaning this up is gonna take all day. Why are you smiling? This is hard work. I know. Isn't it great? The prank worked! We got out of school for the day! Fox kids, fox kids, fox kids, fox kids.